Is that an intro? Not pretty good. No, but seriously. Uh, before we get this video started, I want to say some things. Before I start actually going on on this stuff, apologize about this. Hot as all heck in my room. So if you hear it, I apologize. But, besides all that, uh, like now we're getting on to actual things. It doesn't matter. Like when it comes to cosplaying, you could be a short person cosplaying a tall person, same vice versa. You can cosplay someone short hair. You can be cosplaying someone with long hair, vice versa. It doesn't matter, like who you're cosplaying, what your body sh um, shape is, if you're a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter who you cosplay. You can cosplay whoever the heck you want, and that's what today's video is about. Pe things you should never say to cosplayers. Now I've, I'm on my I'm on Cosplay Alliance of Tulsa. I asked, I went up on Cosplay Alliance of Tulsa and said, "Hey guys, I need your help for a video. Just leave in the comments things." you should never say to cosplayers. And I said a couple other things, but that's just the short and sweet version of it. So, and now I'm gonna be reading all the, co well maybe not all, maybe I'm gonna be going through a bunch of them and reading as much as I can for this video. And like I said, like it doesn't matter your body shape, your skin tone, you can be, you can cosplay whoever you want. And you, you don't have to have the right body shape, skin tone, hair color, eye color, like, same size. Like, it doesn't matter. As long as you're having fun, who gives a crap? So, yeah. Let's get on this video. I went on um, Cosplay Alliance of Tulsa on Facebook and I and said, Hey guys, I need your help for a video. Just leave in the comments things that you should never say to cosplayers. Now, I'm not going to be saying these people's names uh, because some people might not want their name like on YouTube and stuff like that, and I'm going to respect that. And if they do and they di didn't care, then, well, so, it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, I'm going to get on with the first one. So, the first one says, You're too chubby to cosplay a character. So, and so and so's cosplay is more accurate than yours. OMG, I hate the character, but I love your uh, costume. This part of your cosplay is it is wrong. Uh, yeah, this part of your cosplay is wrong. Your skin doesn't match the character. So, yeah. That was the first one. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, the next one says, You're too short to cosplay this character. He's way taller than you. Uh, your skin tone is different, doesn't match the theme. Haha, ha, you're dressed up as an anime character. Haha, ha, weeb. So. Yeah, let's get on to the next one. Alright. Next one says, You're only, co you're only cosplaying because you want to attempt. Uh, you want attention. Sorry, I messed that up. I apologize. But yeah. You're only cosplaying because you want attention. Oh, are you only into anime because your boyfriend is? That's, that's kind of weird. Like, if someone's into anime and the boyfriend is too, it, it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. Now, this one also has like a little, like people doing stuff, like grabbing crap and stuff like that. And it says, what does this do? As they grab something of yours. You shouldn't grab something of theirs anyways. It's not yours. You should, if you want to uh, touch it or like see what it does, ask before you grab it. And like, I heard, I actually have seen this happen before at a, at a convention. And like, don't touch something that's not yours. If you find it somewhere on the floor, give it to like a security guard or one of the main uh, people that works there and they'll put it to lost found or something. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Now this one says, you're so brave, I would never cosplay that character slash outfit. Big people hear this a lot. Their words, not mine. But, um, <laughs> but I understand that is a problem. Like with a lot of people, like people will go up to bigger people and say 
stuff like that, which is very rude and disrespectful. Don't do that at all. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Now, like I said in the beginning, you can be a girl dressing up like a, uh, a boy, a boy dressing up like a girl. This is the issue with this person, where um, she dresses up like Kylo Ren a lot, and she looks really good as Kylo Ren. She does a really good one. And she says, me, dress up as Kylo Ren. Some dude, so have you actually watched Star Wars? Yeah, I read this one and I got very confused. Most Not about the person dressing up as the person, but the person who's asking that question. They're dressing up like a Star Wars person. They most likely have seen at least at least half the movie or the entire movie. In this case, I know she's seen the entire movie. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Sorry about the different camera anger. I had to plug my phone in. But yeah, this one is a comment that's directly on the Kylo Ren one. I'm not going to read all the comment. I'm going to read a good portion of it. And it says, I agree with the, pers um, the person that said the Kylo Ren. It seems like a lot of women are looked at, at as just wanting attention for their cosplay when they can genuinely be a huge fan. I feel like a lot of scrutinists, especially if I like some, um, something more um, mas masculine, masculine, so I can't read today. <laughs> it's because of a pop quiz over the show slash fandom I like. It's, um, it's ridiculous. Also, it's nice to um, complete cosplayers. Co it's nice to compliment cosplayers, um, but be aware of your surroundings. If you are, if you um, come up and say you're the you are the best, uh, insert insight character here. Uh, inside character here, like it doesn't like the character, like you're going up to, like let's say you see someone just up as, let's say Batman, you walk up saying, "You're the best," or like um, "You're the best." So that's what it's implying. I've, I've, you're the best I've ever seen. And there might be other people dressed in the same cosplay, hanging around as well, and that can make other people seem like their effort was worthless. No, I did end up reading the entire comment, but I because I started reading it and I was like, yeah, this is a good comment. This like I agree with the comment, and people do need to understand that like the more people around that are probably dressed up as the same character, like there could be more than more than one person dressed up as Spider Man, and if you go up to one person and say you're the best Spider Man here, and what about all the other people? that probably made their costumes or like like actually put so much effort into their costume and you're making them feel like well there's no point in me doing this but yeah that's my that's what I kind of got from it if you could get something different but yeah let's go on to the final one now I purposely saved this one for last because I agree with it so much and it says cosplay isn't consistent no matter what a person is wearing it is not okay to be creep or creepy, or make them uncomfortable with um, unwanted um, passer, pa pa passes, passes. Like I said, I can't read the day. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and I said, unless you're, and this, she said in quotations, unless you're my fl uh, flirty character using a perfectly um, uh, talent, uh, talented um, pickup line, and th to the character and give them a flower to let them know. It's not. It isn't creepy. But seriously, you don't uh, know how old someone is or what they're confident with their costume. So just be respectful. And that's a good one to end off of because yes, you need to be respectful. You need to be um, respectful, aware, and don't be just don't be stupid when you're saying stuff to cosplayers. That's a big one. If, because you could say something and it could offend one person and that would make the probably ruin their entire day and you don't want that to happen you wouldn't want that to happen you, you don't want that to happen to them see what I'm getting at so yeah well, that's the end of the video I'd like to um, give a shout out to Cosplay Alliance of Tulsa this video and the last video are not sponsorships they're just um, there's just a bunch of co a cosplay group that I joined with my own free will and I thought and they're all nice people 
So, and I think all you guys should meet them. But, um, I, yeah, like I said, thank you, a big thank you to Cosplay Lines of Tulsa and everyone that commented. I didn't say all of them, I think I missed like two, maybe three of them. But, yeah, um, if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs, hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe and hit the um, little bell so you'll be notified every time I get, upload a video. And, I got an outro now. Yeah, let's go check it out.